April and I'm just waiting to start my first official shoot as Miss Universe. I'm so excited. I just saw the wardrobe with Marquise, my stylist, and we have an arrangement of looks and I'm so excited because I know that these photos are going to turn out amazing. Thank you everyone for tuning in and saying hi and spending your morning or evening or wherever you are in the world with me. I hope you guys are doing really well and yeah, I'm just... Photo bomb. <laughs> This is Fadil. Say hi, we're on the Miss Universe Instagram. Hello, everybody. So nice Welcome. to meet you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to New York to the studio and everything. I'm so excited to shoot with me you too. today. Me too. Me too. So that was just video. He just came in. So today's shoot is going to be amazing. We have an arrangement of looks. We have everything from sweet to edgy to graphic. We're going to have a fashion mode. We're going to have headshots, beauty shots, and I'm so excited. Um, and of course, it's my first ever photo shoot in New York City. So it's definitely going to be a memorable one for me. One that I'm sure I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I think what makes me most excited about it too is I've just seen the amazing images that have come out from the past queens like Demi and Sarah Rose and of course all of the Miss Universes um, that have shot behind Fidel's lens and they just come out amazing and he has this, he seems to have this eye that is really able to bring out the uniqueness and the beauty of each girl so I'm so excited how he will see me and, and how he'll capture me. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. We also had a girls day out yesterday. I went out with Sarah and Haley, our Miss USA and Miss Teen USA, our Miss Teen. Um, and it was really nice to kind of explore the city with my sisters um, and just, yeah, I think it's always best to explore a new city when you're in the company of locals and people who are also first timers because Sarah, of course, has been based here for a couple of months. Haley is based in a different place in a different state so um so you have the first timers and people who have been living for a while so it was nice to go around and sarah was recommending us places to go for lunch and um it was just really fun and i can't wait to explore more of new york city although the weather is a little bit hard to get used to especially coming from sunny philippines where we don't have any winter and here of course is not even the worst of winter yet, as I've been told. But thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I want to shout out to Liv Tagudin, also to Joe Magnayan Alonso, and hello, DWI Ragrini from Indonesia. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and saying hi and spending a little bit of time with me. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, I'm here to hang out with you guys for a little bit. And yeah, just spend a little bit of time with you while we're waiting for the setup of the shoot. Someone wants to know how you enjoyed Indonesia. So I have a question, how did I enjoy Indonesia? I loved it. It was my first time there. We landed initially in Jakarta. And then um, I wasn't really able to go around in Jakarta, but then we flew to Bali to Ubud and we were able to go to these amazing locations. The UC1000 team brought us to some really beautiful places. Um, one was this lake in the mountains that had a temple. Another place was this beautiful forest where the sun just filtered through the trees. And um, another location was a black sand beach, which is not something that I'm used to. Um, and also, we went to this waterfall so being able to experience different beautiful natural landscapes which is something that I love because I love being around nature I love being in the outdoors so I really really loved it and I hope to go back soon because I would love to be able to go around and really explore not for work but for personal leisure and to maybe visit the markets and visit some other places and hopefully meet some of you guys there too yeah someone else wants to know what country you want to go to next what country do I want to go to next? I would love to go to anywhere in South America. I've never been. Or Europe. My friends from Sweden and Denmark, Helena and Emma, um, we're really, really close from the pageant because they're my co-contestants. Um, they keep inviting me to go and visit, so I would love to experience either of those two regions. Um, yeah, because there are just places I've never been before and it always helps having my Miss Universe sisters there um, that I could possibly visit and spend some time with too. So, yeah. What, what do you guys think? Where do you guys think I should go and visit next? Do give a comment. 
Someone says hi from Brazil. Thank you, Michael654. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Your Miss Universe experience in one word. My Miss Universe experience in one word. Ooh, that's hard. Mm, fulfilling. Uh, I count my experience even before winning the crown, so it's just been this amazing journey. I've been surrounded by so many amazing people and kind souls, and I feel like I've grown so much also. And when I look back on it, I just feel so enriched by the whole process, the whole journey of it. And I know that no matter where I find myself going in the future, where, what direction or what pursuit I end up going for, I know that this whole experience of, of being Miss Universe, of representing my country of the Philippines and going forward has just enriched me so much as a person. So definitely fulfilling. <laughs> Someone asked, am I going to wear the crown in the shoot? Yes, I'll be wearing the Mikimoto crown this shoot. I'm so excited. It'll be not my first shoot with the crown because I did shoot in my coronation gown in Indonesia for UC1000 with my crown and sash and, and my final coronation look. But of course, this one will be the first stylized shoot with the crown. So I'm excited for that. And so excited for you guys to see the images too. Okay, last question. What has been the most challenging thing so far about becoming Miss Universe? What has been the most challenging thing so far about being Miss Universe? It would have to be putting up with the jet lag. <laughs> Um, just because Philippines and New York are exactly 12 hours difference in the time difference and uh, it took me a while to adjust when I first moved here after being in the Philippines but then going back to Indonesia for 10 days and that was my original time zone with the Philippines I adjusted back and now I'm readjusting again and then of course I'll be going back soon for my homecoming in the Philippines so I'll be constantly in limbo as Miss Universe but that's a part of my job and it's something that I don't mind um, just leave as much as I can and just enjoy every moment also so thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today on the behind the scenes of the shoot. Do stay tuned, there will be a video released on the Miss Universe platforms of the behind the scenes of the actual shoot itself where you can see me in front of the lens of the deal shooting the actual layout. Um, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I will see you guys very soon and I have enjoyed speaking with you guys and I wish you love and light from all over the universe.